are so much different than adults. Like adults put so much practicality into a situation and they say, you know, you can't do this, you can't do this. I don't think it's going to work out. But what I've found in teaching is when I put a group of people that are the same age and the same technical athletic ability, that as soon as one person can do something, suddenly everybody can do that also. And so every, all season, we started with Maddie and Jordan because I knew they could do it. Whatever it was, really this is the most insanely difficult transitional stunt or something that nobody else on the team had. They were going to hit it, that's why they're always first. And then everybody around them was going to give it a good shot and some people would get it and then we'd come back around and hit it again. And then more people would get it. But, you know, it's one thing to be awesome, but these guys are so, they are such great teachers and such great teammates and such great motivators. And Maddie, we watched kind of grow up in your sister's shadows and just be that girl. But this year there were so many times when I would look at them and be like, is that Maddie? Like she just got her year, her whole year. She wasn't just a young kid on the team, she was the leader on the team. You told that world. Yay! And we, um, but you, you, you weren't in it just to like do all the, I, I felt like you were so confident in yourself this whole season that your other teammates success mattered just as much to you as because you finally came into your own and you, you were so confident in your ability and your routine that you were able to make everybody around you feel that same confidence. So um, it was really, really awesome to see that come out of me this season. And I can't wait. It just the sky's the limit from here on out. Okay, so like, whenever I started cheering, we were in the old gym over by one exit up on the street. Like we were sharing the gym with the dance lady or whoever that was. I <laughs> you remember this? I don't know who she was, she was really mean. And I, I think I, I'm pretty sure every time, every year that I've been on a team, it's been with Maddie. I have not been on one team, or I have not spent one year at Cheer Train without Maddie on the team. Aww. And I didn't know that. about five years ago, I was on three, four teams, three in Curso, one in Mount Airy. I'd say Mount Airy. Mount Airy or San Mount Airy. Mount Airy. I did individuals, so that makes five, and a stunt group, so that makes six. So I was doing six tasks for a mission. And then my mom came up to me after school one day, and I got home, and she's like, hey, Debbie called me, and he wants to know if you and Maddie want to do I was like, I'm already in a stunt group. She was like, no, like, only you stunt group. I was like, I oh, don't know, I'll try, for sure. And then I get to the gym, and then Darnell coached us, and I was, ha I was having a really tough time with the hands. So we were having to do our whole, our whole routine, our, like, hands lift and stuff all through walking because I could not touch my hands. But over the years we've come so far together as a stunt group and on teams together that it's just tremendous.
like, who that 